Okay, so first I've pulled it off of the brackets now. It's easier to go ahead and attach the hoses and the wiring before we permanently install it since it's going to be underneath the fender. So if you've got an 883 or an 884, you got a manifold. On the manifold, there's a um, you can see that there's a, a cap that's been glued in, epoxied into place. And then you have the opposite. Oops, there's a little goombers on that one. Okay. So what you want to do with an 883, you want to hold you want to hold your fingers over three and blow through this end. And if this one's the one that's blocked, that's the one you don't use. If you want to make sure it's not this one, blow through it again. One of the three, one of these is blocked. I think it's uh, this one. Hold on. Yeah. So the nozzle on the opposite end of the glued plug, this one is not drilled. It's, it's injection molded with a plug. That way we can use it with both the 884 or the 883. So for the 883, you don't have to drill that out. You want to use these three, and those will line up with these three on here, just like that, okay? So what I do is I cut the, in this case, uh, six hoses. So three in the top, three in the bottom. I go ahead and cut them all the same size first. And then uh, to do that, I just took a little, this is, you know, you don't have to do this, but we cut a lot of hoses around here, so I just used this three-quarter inch pipe that I had sitting around, just pushed a fitting on, and then I just I just uh, stuffed the hose in there, cut it. I <clears throat> I prefer this, and just take and cut that off. Do six of those, and then you'll be ready to attach the manifold. Okay. So I take put the hose in there. I use the blade, mark it, and then pull it out. That way you get them pretty darn close. Mark it, pull it out. Now you don't have to do this, but it gives you good uniformity, makes it a lot easier. You don't have to sit there and try to measure and cut them and try to make sure that they're the same size. Okay, so there we have our six pieces, and uh, we're ready to go ahead and attach them on to the manifold with the clamps. Okay, once you get your pieces cut, uh, I found this at Home Depot. This is probably one of my most used tools. I love this thing because it can be a ratchet, it can, you know, use it like a screw gun, a screwdriver. It's a ratchet drive. It makes working with the, the hose clamps so easy. It's a, uh, it is a Husky. Let's see if you can see that or not. I don't know if you can see that. So I picked this up at uh, Home Depot. I got a couple of them and we use these all the time. I love this for the clamps. I'm using a, uh, oh, let's see here, six millimeter. Rat, uh, socket which fits perfectly for the uh, for the clamps that we give you slide your hoses on like that <coughs> excuse me so now there's not a lot of room in here and I'm sorry for that but that's the only way we could design these to be so compact so the way I like to do this is I like to slip Slip the uh, clamps on like that. Basically something like this. Okay. And then tighten those up. This one, you have to kind of uh, do it on top and angle it over a little bit.
Sometimes if you loosen them up too much, you got to push them a little bit to get them to catch. There you go. And then this last one could be like this. and tight okay that one went a little low but it doesn't matter because we're not putting a hose on this one if there was a hose on this one this one needs to be up here like this one angle wise but uh, that seems to be the best way okay I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, three on this one and then we'll get back okay so I have the two manifolds put together now one thing I forgot to mention is plan Plan your screw heads of the clamps accordingly. Now I know that my generator is going to mount like this in the vehicle. Let me see here. I know it's going to mount like this. And that the hoses are going out this way. This is facing towards the grill, towards the fender. So I'm going to put my spare part of the manifold facing towards the front of the car. So I want them basically like this. Okay. But, what I've done is, I've got the screws on the top of one and the screws on the bottom of the other. So this one is going to go on the bottom. So if I have to, I can get up underneath there and tighten these screws up. If, if at any time I need to, you know, check the hose clamps or something, I have access to them from underneath the car very easily. The same here. If I ever need to, you shouldn't have to, but if you ever need to get to these, you want to position them so that they're on the top of the generator so that all you have to do is reach up there and just tighten them up real quick. If you put them underneath here, it makes it really hard to try to get to like that. Now, you might be able to, but I prefer top, bottom like that. It makes it much easier for maintenance in the future. So now, I'm going to go ahead put the clamps on these slip it onto these and go ahead and get these uh, clamped onto the generator itself just a quick note too before you slide these before you slide these onto the generator make sure you slide the clamps onto the hoses first and I slide them however whatever configuration I have here we slide them that way on here first and just make sure they're loose then you can go ahead line it up kind of rock it back and forth make sure it's seated all the way against the uh, cell casing here and then go ahead and slide these down into position and then uh, tighten them up okay there we go Top and bottom, all set up. Got the electrodes here ready to go. So this one's ready to uh, take to the car.